What's up guys, Alan here from Yu-Gi-Oh! Product again, back with another booster box opening. This time we're looking at Battle of Legend Armageddon. This was given to me by a good friend from our birthday, so um, hopefully we can pull some really nice cards out of it. Of course, for those who know, the big card out of this set is 10,000 Dragon. It is incredibly hard to pull, and I think the value of the card is still over $1,000 since the release of this set. So pulling one of those would be fantastic, but of course there's some other high value cards in this as well. There's um, a Utopia, uh, Invocation, uh, the Chaos Emperor Dragon, the new Chaos Emperor Dragon, the Errated version, is a high valued card as well. But uh, everyone's buying these boxes for that 10,000 Dragon and it would be a sweet pull to get. So without wasting any time, let's get straight into it. Let's start opening packs, I think there's only 5 cards per pack, yep. So we've got a lot of dragon retrains in this, which is pretty cool. A lot of new dragon cards. Okay, Afterglow. Super all in. Number one, Numeron Gate. So you got the Numeron cards as well, they're pretty cool. Uh, appliance or Socket Roll. And Danger Jackalope. I actually played a Numeron Exodia deck uh, recently enough, and it's actually worked really well. The Numeron cards are. Uh, Whatever way to play it, they're a really good draw engine for Exodia. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Uh, Mystical Beast of the Forest, Boost Warrior, Elemental Hero, Chaos Neos, that is class. That looks so good. Steam Synchron, and Danger Jackalope again. Secret Rare, Danger Jackalope. Was the last one a Secret Rare? It was. Really nice looking Secret Rares by the way, look at that. It looks really good. Really liking the uh, the effects in these cards, the foiling effects. Even the uh, ultras look sweet. And let's just keep going. So as I say, everyone's uh, buying these for the ten thousand dragon. Uh, dragon Buster, Destruction Sword, Perfect Sanctum, Penguin Torpedo, number one again. And number C1, Numeron Chaos Gate, Sonia. Secret Rare. Invocation would be a good pull as well. Um, that card has never been cheap. I think the cheapest it is at the moment is $25. And it's been uh, released like four sets already, I think, and it's still uh, not cheap. Appliance or Laundry Dragon, Appliance or Rescue, Appliance or uh, Cletopus. Invoked, Purgatorio, love the um, artwork of that card. Pretty sweet looking card. And high rate draw. Gaio Defender, Book of Moon, oh, ultra rare Book of Moon, that looks so good. Look at that, that is a classic card now, that looks really good. Numeron Wall. Number four, and Artifact Ignition. Number uh, three, Farman Skipper, Galaxy Worm, Invoked Purgatorio, and Glacial Beast Iceberg Narwhal. That is exceptional looking. The secret air and the synchro there just looks fantastic. Really nice looking. How many packs are in this? Uh, 24 packs in the box. Assault Blackwing. Appliancer. Invoked Raijin. Gaia Defender. Or Guardian even. And oh, the new Trishula. Trishula, the Dragon of Icy Imprisonment. So the Errated version, which is now a fusion. Pretty cool looking. Not. The uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon though, which is a high valued one of the set. Kaimeru, Flyancer, Blackwing, number 3, and Fossil Dragon. Um, there is a Fossil, uh, I think it's the Effect Monster, is a high value in this set. These Fossil cards are pretty cool, I don't think they're actually that good. I don't think they've done a whole lot, but there isn't there isn't many of them at the moment. It's a fairly new uh, archetype. Number three, 
psychic wave. Fire Flint Lady, Invoked Elysium. And Numeran Calling, Secret Rain, Numeran Calling. This was the card actually that was used in the Exodia deck, I think. Uh, if Numeran Network is in your field zone and you control no monsters, special summon up to four Numeran Gate XYZ monsters with different names from your extra deck, but banish them during the end phase, you can also only normal summon a special summon once for the rest of the turn. So you summon them, so you summon the four uh, XYZ Numeran cards, and there was, um, there was a spell card that can remove XYZ monsters, and then you can draw that many cards, you can remove the yeah, four of them and then draw four cards. It was a, a decent effect. Penguin Torpedo, the Blancer, Invoked, Caliga, Blancer Test, and Glacial Beast, Blizzard Wolf. Afterglow, Fire Flint Lady, Black Whirlwind, Intruder Alarm, Yellow Alert, and number F0, Utopic Future Slash. That is a pretty epic looking card as well. Utopic Future Slash. As I said, the 10,000 Dragon is so, so hard to pull. There's a reason it's still over $1,000 to purchase the card. Appliancer, Farman Skipper, Invoked Elysium. Malefic Paradigm Dragon and Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. That's pretty cool. Actually, was it Skull Knight? That was worth something. Maybe it wasn't an effect monster, maybe it was this guy. That's pretty epic. I'm gonna sleeve him up actually. As always, using my uh, see through uh, sleeves. Skull Knight. Clients are uh, Breaker Bunkle, Galaxy Worm, Necros of Gungir, Elemental Hero Neos Elias, Glacial Beast Blizzard Wolf. Malefic Paradigm Dragon. Ooh, Book of Moon again. Ultra Rare Book of Moon just looks so cool. I just really like the look of it. Intruder Alarm. Plancer and Armored White Bear. Ooh, uh, yeah, Mystical Beast, I cannot pronounce that. Uh, Kokai Mary Drago, Flower Cardian Cherry Blossom, Crashy, and Artifact Ignition. It's getting there, not a whole lot of packs left now. Raw's Disciple, that is pretty cool in ultra rare form. Number S39, Utopia the Lightning, really a handy utility card. Salomon Great Gazelle, Appliance for Kappa Scale, and Specimen Inspection. That's a fossil related card, whoops. That is a fossil related card, pretty cool artwork in that as well. That's pretty sweet. Appliancer, a uh, copy buckle. Appliancer, number three. Secure Gardener and Armored White Bear. Appliancer, copy buckle. Psychic Wave. Obedient School. Elemental Hero, Shining Flare, Wingman. And Power Crawler. The Elemental Hero looks so cool as well. Really nice effect on that. So, not a whole lot of packs left. Can we pull the Chaos Emperor Dragon, Invocation, or the 10,000 Dragon? Black Whirlwind, Elemental Hero, Numeral Wall, Dragon Buster, and Dark Spell Regeneration. So, as I say, we're getting there. Just not quite there yet. Come on. Super All In, uh, Junk Anchor, Appliancer Breaker Bunkle, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Li uh, Lion Emperor, and Artifact Ignition again. Uh, 
Afterglow, Salomon Great Sunlight Wolf, Obedient School, Goyo Guardian, and number C92, Hark Earth Chaos Dragon. That is a sweet looking card as well. Just look at that. It looks beautiful. I always did like Secret Air Rarity. It's definitely my favourite rarity, I think I just love the look of it. Chaos Neos, Neos Elias, Lion Emperor, Clethopus, and Fossil Warrior Skull King. So I'm gonna sleeve him as well for with Skull Knight. <coughs> sleeve him up. So we got the Skull Knight and the Skull King. Second last pack, I believe. Yep, second last pack. Okay, Tongue Kinker. Number two. Number one. Make a Phantom Beast. And number C92, last pack. Will we get that 10,000 dragon? Probably not. Fingers crossed though, it would be a sweet pull. Would make for a great video. Okay, Mr. Beast, Frost Disciple. Topological Zeroboros, Numeron Wall, and Fossil Dragon Skullgare. That is a pretty cool looking Fossil Dragon as well. That looks epic. So unfortunately, uh, no 10,000 Dragon and no Chaos Emperor Dragon retrain. But I did get the uh, Trishula, if I can get her out here now. I'll find her. Uh, where'd she go? Should have sleeves her up as well. There she is. So I did get the Trishula, which was a pretty sweet pull as well. Got a sleeve her up. And I got the two Fossil Warriors, with Fossil Warrior Skull Knight being a high valued card in the set. So that was a good pull, and the rest of the cards are just cool anyway. The Ultra Rares, Book of Moons, things like that are really awesome. So that's it, guys, for uh, a box of Battle of Legend Armageddon. I'll hopefully have some more videos soon, I know it's been a while uh, since this video, there's been a bit of a break of about a month. But I have a few videos lined up, so hopefully uh, I'll start getting them out again soon, in the coming days. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, until next time.